friends welcome to the channel today in this video i will show you how to move azure storage account to another location or another region so basically when you have a requirement to move your storage account to a different location or region how you can do that that is what we are going to discuss in this video tutorial so basically there are two approaches you can achieve this functionality like uh, by using the azure portal as well as you can also write a powershell script that can help you to do this functionality so in this uh, video tutorial we are going to discuss how we can use azure portal to move the storage account from one location to another location the powershell one i will make a separate video for that anyway i have also written one article on this topic that article link uh, i am uh, going to put it in the video description that link you can go through once there also you will get that uh, all all the steps right both the approaches you can get it there so just have a look on that so let's start with a quick demo without delay what i'll do is let me navigate to the azure portal which i have already logged in you can able to see here i have already logged in to azure portal so for that what you need to do is go to the storage account you can search here the storage account click on the search result you will see all your storage account here right select the one which one you want to move it right so i'll just click on this one demo gbs now the first step is what you will do is on the storage account page from the left navigation if you come down you can able to see here under automation tab there is a link called export template okay click on that the moment you will click on that it will start generating the template you can able to see here it is showing that it is in process it is it started the generating this template so you need to just wait for a few seconds and it will generate the template here and it, then it will show you the download option download button right now you can able to see here this is the download button click on the download button the moment you will click on download button what it will do is it will download it to your local folder right there what you can do is just uh, ex extract it right extract here so it because i have already uh, that folder with the same name so it, it told me to replace it i just click the next to all right so now just close this the next step is what you need to do is now you need to close this and uh, go to the click on the home and click on the create a resource button here okay click on the create a resource button and what you need to do is just search for template deployment or i'll paste it here you can able to see here you just need to type template deployment okay so moment uh, click on enter and you can able to see the first option template deployment deploy using custom right click on that the first option then you need to click on the create button i just click on create button and the next step is you just click on this build your own template in editor click on that and the next step is what you need to do is click on the load file and now what it will do is it will redirect you to the folder that we have extracted uh, that time right in the earlier step click on that and choose this template file okay this json file you need to choose okay template.json right so click on open the moment you will do that you are able to see the template file is opened now what you need to do is here you need to change two things okay change the name i'll just give one two three and then what you need to do is 
you need to change the location, the new location, right? So I'll from East US, I will make it Central US, Central. Okay, and that's it, right? Nothing else you need to change. And then click on the Save button to save the changes. The moment you will do that, it will redirect you to this custom deployment phase, right? Where you need to choose the subscription now. For me, uh, this is the subscription. In case you have multiple, you can able to see it here and choose the correct subscription here. And okay, now, research group you need to choose. I'll choose demo one, two, three, four, six. Or you can click on the create new link to create a new research group. And now, what you need to do is click on the review plus create button. The moment it, you will click on this, you can able to see here it will start running the final validation. And if everything is okay, then only you can able to see this create button. Else it will throw you some validation error here. Okay. And you won't able to see this create button. So since our so all the entries are correct, it, uh, the validation is passed now and we can able to see this create button click on the create button the moment you will do that it will start the deployment process and it will take just a few seconds and we'll create the storage account right and able to see here it is still in progress and this deployment details you can able to see here all the with the status the resource type everything right you can able to see here it is showing accepted now it will still takes few seconds to complete the deployment and after completion it will show you that deployment is completed right so you can able to see here all the resources whatever needed here and uh, now we can able to see here deployment is succeeded and your deployment is complete. So click on the go to resource group which will move there and there you will see here your new storage account with the earlier template, right? So if you click on there, you can able to see here this belongs to central US and it's your script. I mean, all the details you can able to see here, right? So this is how you can move your Azure storage account from one location to another location. So that's it for today. I thought to show you quickly how to move your Azure storage account from one region to another region using Azure portal. As I told you that you can also do that using PowerShell and that i am going to make a separate video still if you want to check that one article i have already written and that article link i'm going to put it in the video description you can just have a look there there you will get the complete powershell script to move your azure storage account from one location to another location thanks a lot for watching this video and if you like the video kindly subscribe to our channel so that you will get lots of free videos on different as your articles. Thanks a lot and have a nice day. Bye bye.